In little over two weeks' time, Argentina will travel to South Africa to kick off their second rugby championship campaign. In their first, last year, they failed to record a victory, but were never less than competitive. The Pumas' rise to the highest level of international rugby has been remarkable. But as general playing standards have improved, one aspect of their game, their most potent weapon, has been in decline. What happened to the Pumas is that we lost the confidence we had in our scrum. We used to be able to go into a match knowing that the scrum is the platform that will help us to dominate. And obviously the advantage of playing with a team possessing a forward moving scrum instead of one going backwards. That is something that the Pumas have lost in recent years. Since many of us used to think that it was something innate in us, something we'd already acquired, we started to concentrate on other skills. In the past, it used to be just the opposite. The international scrum was behind the Argentine scrum, but nowadays, it's the other way round. For decades, the Puma pack executed a unique scrum technique, the Bajadita. Bajadita, meaning lowering down, which is wrongly called that, because in reality, it's a coordinated push in which the forwards pass on the strength of the five players at the back, constituting a different scrummaging technique. The good thing is that this has been widely applied here in Argentina since the 1980s and 90s. This gave great results to the many forwards who used to practice it. It consists of taking out the front row of the opposite team with a coordinated push. In this case, the front row just passes on the strength from the back, not pushing, but coordinating it. And in that way, it moves the scrum forward. As the game has evolved, so have the scrummaging laws, but the Argentine scrum hasn't kept pace. The evidence was clear to see in the June internationals. It happened recently when England came with a well-prepared team. And in reality, we were just looking for some excuses to hide the facts. England were above us and they dominated in scrummaging. And as we always say, the key to the match is in the scrum. From the moment England started to dominate it, we were psychologically affected by that, and it helped them win the two matches. And on the third week after being defeated by England twice and realising that our scrum was appalling, we began to focus more on it. When you have the opportunity to play for Los Pumas, you know what the opposite team had to go through because of our scrum, then you understand the faults. After seeing what happened in the matches against England, you can't help but feel ashamed. The new Crouch Bind Set Scrum Trial, which aims to aid player welfare by reducing the hit of the initial impact, might also help the Pumas restore their traditional advantage. I believe that this is a great measure to avoid the collapse of the scrum. It will certainly avoid the impact, especially to the spine of the forwards, and therefore it will increase the longevity of the front row players and also the rest of the forwards. In my opinion, for a new style to be implemented, we need to put in some time together. Despite the fact that all of us come from different clubs abroad, our point in common will always be our background and foundations in Argentine rugby. Despite applying different scrummaging methods at our clubs, we will have here a place where we will find a common ground and be able to adapt well together. Good times lie ahead indeed, I really believe it. We started the new technique today in our training. It might be hard having been different for so long. For a while now, we've been highly prioritising the engage because scrummaging meant almost 80% initial impact. By having this slower scrum, which is very much the way we do it here in Argentina and contrary to the way it is in international rugby, we might well have a great chance to get back to our essence.